Karkand round two, defending this time. I thought maybe I was defending last time, but I think I was attacking last time. Yeah, I was attacking last time. Whoa! Clever. Whoever shot whatever that was, and actually somehow you didn't get well, maybe you didn't get a kill for it, but the, um, I didn't get a death for it. what? Huh? What? Huh? Whatever. Whoever shot that building and made that bubble come down on top of me probably got a kill for it. Oh god, I blew myself up. I didn't think I was that close to the C4. Okay, good to know. Weirdly enough, I got a 50 point for destroying a vehicle. How does that work? This game is still confusing me. Come to think of it, I don't think this game will ever stop confusing me. It's kind of that type of game. No, oh, whoa! Surrounded. Well, we lost A already. Alright then. I'm gonna go to B, and I'm gonna be recon, and I'm gonna use the soul flam. And I'm gonna have no idea where I just spawned. Okay, we're behind the building. This is not gonna work, but I'm gonna try. Climb, 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 climb faster, climb faster, climb faster, ah, uh, climb faster, climb faster. Come on, why is this ladder so tall? Oh, right, it's because the building is really tall. Okay, here we go. This is one of the worst places you can be on this map, I've learned. In BF2, it was like sniper spot number one. But turns out this building is destructible now. Not completely, you can't just demolish it, but you can, like, you'd think that, hey, putting a soul flam on that corner is really good, because they can't destroy it with splash damage or anything, and now there's a lock-on on all the vehicles coming down from that street, but if one of those tanks is smart enough to just shoot the building instead of the soul flam, it's just gonna blow up. <laughs> Friggin' scope glare. I actually kind of wish that didn't exist. Or, it, like, Lead and Gold had a good idea of scope there. Where it would appear whenever you zoomed in, but if you stayed zoomed in, it wouldn't show up. So if you have a, a bolt action rifle without the straight pull bolt, it would cause a brief glare every time you had between each shot. Or if you don't have the straight pull bolt whenever whenever you have to reload, or if you zoom out and then zoom back in, it would quit. You know, that, that would be a, a decent compromise, I think. I'm not just saying that this because I like to snipe either. I th I think it's kind of ridiculous when you look when you look out over a field and you see just like 500 meters away you see three bright ass like it looks like sunlight just f flashing at you. Even though the snipers are actually indoors in the shade and the sun is behind them, it's like this. Th there, there's no that. Uh, oh wow, there's totally dudes down there. I'm gonna put a spawn beacon over here. Wow, I hit someone with that grenade? I hit someone with that grenade. Gosh, I don't wanna go down though. I don't wanna go down there. I should. I should hop down and try to prevent them from capturing B, which is currently being captured. But I don't feel comfortable with that. What's my soul flame doing? It's not seeing anything, but there's gonna be more. There's gonna be more vehicles coming from that way, that's where their tanks spawn, so... Good idea, if you have a bipod, and you don't want to use it. Uh, if you keep moving while you're zooming in... Wow, that didn't destroy part of the building. If you keep moving while zooming, it's it, it doesn't... Uh, it doesn't automatically deploy the bipod. Even if it should, so to speak. Even, even if it... In a, say, hello! It's a whole bunch of dudes. Nice to see you. Aw, oh, there goes my soul flam. Oh, my spawn beacon's already gone, too. Oh, well. Now it just so happens I know that there's some dudes on top of that really tall building, so maybe I can find a spot to shoot them from. If they decide to stay. This is really far away, though. Um, how about I give some orders? Because I happen to be the squad leader. No, oh, they're not up there anymore.
Um, was I talking about something? I don't remember. Oh yeah, like if you're in a situation where the bipod would naturally... If you have it set to manually deploy the bipod, because you can actually set that to a manual key as well. Legitimate use of the MAV, put it down and let it act as a short range motion sensor. Movement. There's movement. This scope is not good in this situation. Holy crap, that's a lot of enemies. Wow, you got him? Well done. Ah! Huh. He was accused of hacking in a previous game that I was on before I started recording. Does not look like a hacker to me. Um, especially since he's. Oh, there he is. Yeah, that, that doesn't look like a hacker to me. People are so damn quick at calling cheating in games like this. I don't. I don't really. I don't even really get it. Wow, is that the building by by uh, B? No, it's not. It isn't. What the hell is that building? That's one you can't be on top of. That's too tall. I was looking at the wrong building, wasn't I? He's over there. There it is. That's the building. Someone's shooting at me. I wonder who... Oh, he's over there. See, that is ridiculous. There is no way I should have been able to spot him so easily. See, that's that's just stupid. It shouldn't be that easy to counter-snipe. I, I don't like that. I don't like the glare. I understand it, but I don't like it. I wish it was more occasional. Oh shit! Enemy soldier spotted. Over. Nice. This is gonna be bad. You know what? Good thing I have a silenced gun. Otherwise, I would have showed up on his uh, minimap at that point. God, I'm smart. I should. I should ditch the uh, the tactical light on my other pistols and just use the suppressor. Because if he had seen me on my uh, on his minimap when I gunned down his pal, he probably would have known which direction to look, and then I would have been screwed. Suppressor has its uses. Um, why am I over here? How did I end up over here? Try to snipe some while I'm here. That's fun. Not really useful in this situation. But fun. Well, someone's sniping me. That's that's less than ideal. I wonder where. That's a tank or something that's shooting at me, or an IFV rather. Can I get inside this building? That door looks open. Yeah. Okay. Good. Ooh, can you get up there? There's a ladder here. I'm just exploring now. I've never been in here before. I think. Can you, like get outside from here? No, it's just this can't walk. My frame rate sucks for some reason. The game doesn't like me being in here. Now that's it. Well, that's oof. that's uh, less than ideal. Then. Or like I've have I said it or have I typed it or? Um, well, I've said it to someone at least that if if uh, if the game insists on having some kind of ridiculous glare, I think I mean half the reason to use, you're zoomed in is because you want to shoot someone. Which okay, if you're aiming at someone and they're about to get shot in the face, then cool, let let them know that too. That 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 seems fair enough. The glare, however, is also ridiculously wide. So even if they're not aiming anywhere close to you, or I think I've been told. Even if they're not even zoomed in at all, the glare is still going to be there. Which doesn't make any sense to me. If you're not using the scope... What? Yep. There we go. If you're not using the scope, why is there a scope glare? And, um... Oh, I lost, I lost, I lost my place again. So yeah, I, I, okay, changes I would make to the glare if I was DICE and someone insisted that it has to be there for 
feedback purposes. I don't know. Change one. Glare is only there when you're zoomed in. Change two. Glare is only really visible to the person you're aiming at. There's like a thousand dudes over here. Help. 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 Uh-oh. Ah. Hey, I got two of them. Nice. Okay. Glare is visible on a smaller... Uh, to a, a smaller section. Glare is not visible when you're not scoped, so between shots it goes away if you have a non-straight pull bolt bolt action rifle. Or a... Uh, or when you're reloading with any sniper rifle. Um, and finally, if you insist that the scope is has a glare whenever it is zoomed in and you're looking at someone, why not add a... Okay, that's... <coughs> That's the point I was going to make. There's two reasons for zooming in. One is to shoot someone in the face, in which case it's fair enough that if they're looking at you when you're scoped, they should be aware that, hey, this guy's about to shoot you in the face. Makes sense. Not always realistic, but it makes sense from a, from a video game point of view. Second reason to zoom in is because this class is called Recon. For reconnaissance. For looking at shit. Or, that's not exactly what that means, but you know what I mean. What did I just unlock? I like the four time scope. I already have, oh, I, already, I only had a seven and a twelve. I think four time scopes don't have scope there. I think only four and above, like the seven and the eight and the twelve, have glare. So there's that at least. Now to get back to my point, two reasons for zooming in. First, shooting people in the face. Second, looking at things and spotting enemies. I don't think there's any harm in just being zoomed in. Like, right now I'm not intending on shooting anyone. I'm just curious what's over there. If there's an enemy, I could spot him for my friends. If you insist on always having glare, I'm just saying the same thing over and over again because I keep interrupting myself. Okay, I'm going to take those guys out. If you insist on there being glare, when you want to shoot someone in the face, then give me an option that does not involve shooting someone in the face. I.e. binoculars. If the recon class had binoculars that could not shoot, but did not have glare, and had up to 12 times magnification, I would use them. I would almost sacrifice my MAV or my soul flam for binoculars if it means I could spot through them without being spotted by the enemy. Almost, not quite, but almost. Because it's kind of ridiculous that I can't just hang back and spot for my friends while zoomed in without being pointed out as a big glowing old target on the enemy's min or or the enemy screen. That that that's ridiculous. That shouldn't be the case. So if nothing else, if you don't want to change the glare at all, add a binocular function. Let me use that scope without without risk of shooting someone in the face and then being angry that they're being shot by someone they can't see. Because I understand that. I understand that it's frustrating for a person to be shot by someone they can't see. That's one of the problems with sniper rifles in video games. They feel unfair a lot of the time because... Are they still capturing F? They feel unfair a lot of the time because you have no chance of seeing whoever, whoever's shooting at, at you. And that, that's what snipers do. But it doesn't feel good to the victim. Good throw. So if you don't want to change that, add an option. An alternative. That's all I'm asking for. Oh, we're being so flammable. If you stand still, I can take that thing out. It's not going to shoot you. It's okay. If they don't have a javelin or tanks with guided missiles, then you're not going to get hurt just because someone's so flamming you. What's going on in the chat? <laughs> What's he talking about? Alright, soul flam. There we go. Wait, I killed an enemy? I was aiming for his soul flam. What the hell? Well, let me... I'm not comfortable with this thing being there, so... There we go. Didn't that destroy? Serious? Weird. Okay, so. Oh, someone took my turn. 
Oh, okay. Oh, wait, there's RPG dudes? Where? There. That's one of those cases where an IR scope is totally useful. If I had an IR scope on one of my guns, I could have seen him through all that dust and I wouldn't have to run up right next to him. But it's such a rare occasional thing and the range on the uh, IR scope is abysmal. Yeah. Where'd the enemies go? Did you kill both of them? Aww. Help. I've fallen and I can't get up. No? Okay. I feel like I should not be weak on. Um, let's... Are you serious? He's he's trying to give up. What, what are you even doing? Are you crazy? Oh, okay, there's already someone in there. Shut up, please, Mr. Go, go, go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, I have no idea who's shooting. I'm gonna revive this guy. I accidentally threw a grenade instead. No, I didn't throw it? Okay. I'm just gonna say negative every time someone says. Yep. Oh. No. Are you serious? You're gonna sit there and complain all the time? That's the only thing you're gonna do. Way to like make the rest of the game a whole lot less fun for everyone else involved. Seriously, come on. Come on, please. Oh, hey, I had an order to attack D for how long? No, that's not what I mean to say. I want to say no. Good, that was a good one. Oh god. Don't know who's shooting from where. This this is all very bad. Ow. Whoop, oh, hello, hello, goodbye. That's not gonna let me be revived again. Um there's a tank around E, isn't there? So let's go support. And oh god, they caught they captured E. We are losing, aren't we? Um, um I actually want to be engineer. My next unlock for the engineer is gonna be the javelin. Which works perfectly in tandem with the soul flam. Which sucks because I won't be able to place a soul flam and the javelin, because I'm only one guy. Now oh, you're helping a lot. Like maybe he is, I'm not gonna judge. What's his name? Matt, 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 something. I'm really bad at spotting a specific name in a list! I can never see it. I, I have still have not found him. Oh, there he is. Fourth on the bottom. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Yeah, at this point where peeking out gets you killed, maybe it's not the worst thing in the world to have a guy on a motor trying to provide support. I think I hit that tank. I actually think I hit that tank. Oh god, sniper. I saw him. Dude, that's okay. I was looking toward him. He was aiming at me. Glare. I, I would be fine with that. But it shows a too wide an angle, it shows for, shows for too long, to too many people from too far away. Uh, um, okay, let's go... Square to C, that sounds good. 
Although, E, A, okay. Yeah. It's not too, it would not be too late. If we're a tight enough team, it would not be too late to win at this point. Even though we're, we're at half the tickets. I'm not concerned about winning, though. I just want to have fun and get as much points as I can for my own personal reasons. Before the round is over. And that includes capturing as much of these things as I can. Here you go. Oh, whoop, 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 I'm dubstep. Ah! Still have half magazine left, bitches. Can't escape my bullets. You can run, but you can't hide. Ah, I love this gun. I love the freaking 200 round magazine. It's awesome. What's the magazine capacity on the pitch? Neg, 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 neg. I should, I should start leveling that gun up, cause that, there's, I think there's assignments that involve getting killed with that gun, so I should probably use it. Let's, uh, let's do that. The uh, pitch and egg. however the hell you pronounce that. I'm very tempted to call it the pitching. It is a hundred round magazine. That means it, this will probably also have the ammo capacity upgrade, which doubles that to two hundred. This will probably also be a good line, a good gun if I level level it up. I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna do a guess here. Since the M2419 is a fairly low caliber rifle, uh, machine gun, I think it's 556 millimeters. This sounds like a, like a, a, a Russian gun, maybe a Chinese one. It sounds like the kind of machine gun that would use like 762 or something like that, something heavier. So my completely random guess, basically not even having used this gun before, is that it may be the harder to aim with but does more damage per bullet ver version of the M249, basically. Which I usually like those. I like high damage per bullet. So let's level this thing up until it becomes less useless. Um, these, oh god, there's tanks and shit! I'm gonna click this. Kaching, kaching, kaching. Uh, I think he knows I'm here. So, um. Uh oh. Goodness, I do not like those iron sights. The M2419 has good iron sights. This thing does not have good iron sights. That's an M60. That's even worse. How do you get that? Is there a level? Probably just a later level unlock, right? <sighs> yeah. Okay. Now what? Let's go for A. Someone's been planting claymores all over that house. Ow! I wish people would stop- Ah, oh god! Hello! Where the hell did you come from? I wish peeps- I wish people would stop shooting me is what I was gonna say. Ah, uh, uh, ladders are dangerous. They look funny, from a third person view. They look pretty good for being a first-person game. The first, the third-person animations when look, other people are running around and looking silly. They even have facial expressions. They don't necessarily look good, but they have them. And that's what matters. They're trying, at least. And there's like several different people. There's like a bearded guy, and typical young young American soldier action movie guy. There's there's a black guy. There's uh, possibly more than one black guy, and in that case, I'm being racist again. But I don't know. I just know there's multiple different faces, which is unusual. And they all grit their teeth when they're fighting, which is also kind of cool. Uh, I completely lost sight of what I'm doing here. What, what was I doing again? We're losing, I know that much. Let's um, recon. Because I don't freaking know what else to do. See, I gotta kill as soon as I switch class. That's that's how you know you're doing the right thing. Is this all flame over there? Got it. Not even close. I just want to get some kills before the round, of the end of the round. Oh, well, I got one and the soul farm, so that's okay. That's Karkand at least. Good map. 
plays well in this game. Good, good version of that map. Lots of interiors to run around inside and buildings to shoot down. Works well. With Frostbite too. I do think I like this version of the map more than the one in the 2142 ended up getting. It's over the end there. I'm not sure if I like it more than BF2, but I haven't played that game in ages, and I didn't play it a whole lot at the time either, so I don't. Really, I can't really judge.